Hello there football fans, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. It's official, Harry Kane joins Real Madrid finally and many people have been talking about he is out of the jail because of the contract that he signed at Tottenham Hospice that kept him for so long. But this time, it's official, it's a here we go. So, let me just read this quote here from Hurricane. I am very happy to be part of Bayern, one of the biggest clubs in the world, and I've always said that I want to move and prove myself at the highest level in my career. This is what uh, Hurricane said. So, today, I don't know how the laws and the regulations over there in Germany are, but he might win the first trophy with Bayern Munich because Bayern are playing the Super Cup today. So let's wait and see what's going to happen. But it's going to be really a, a big banter if he plays today or take part of uh, that uh, final and then win the first trophy less than 24 hours after leaving Tottenham Hospice. Yeah, that is going to be a big banter. So let's check on the message that he just sent to Tottenham Hospice fans. And he looks really genuine. And he, he was even crying. Hi, everyone. Um, I wanted to be the first to tell uh, you Tottenham fans that I'll be leaving the club today. Um, I'll be the first to tell uh, you Tottenham fans that I'll be leaving the club today. Um, obviously a lot of emotions going through me right now and sad to be leaving a club I've spent nearly 20 years of my life at, uh, from an 11 year old boy to a 30 year old man now. There's been so many great moments and special memories, memories that I'll cherish forever. So. This is a thank you to uh, all my teammates uh, over the years, uh, all my coaches, all the managers, every single staff member uh, to do with the club, you know, from the kit men to the chefs, everyone involved. Uh, obviously, I've built special relationships with a lot of people. And most importantly, a thank you to you, the Tottenham fans. Um, from the moment I've been playing, I've been one of your own. Uh, and I've given everything that I possibly could to, to make you proud um, and give you as many special moments as, and memories uh, to hopefully last forever. So um, I felt like this was the time to leave. Uh, I didn't want to go into the season with a lot of... Uh, okay, guys. So I... Yeah, you see the message right there. We can't continue probably because of copyright issues. So he looks really, really miserable. You know, they show him when he was uh, doing his medical inside a car. He looks very uncomfortable. But you have to understand that Tottenham is all he knows his entire career. So moving to Germany, it's going to take time for him to settle. So let me know what do you think. You see, people are talking about he's freed from the jail. Uh, finally freed. I, I think he stayed a little bit too long at Tottenham Hospice. But it's in the past now and it's time for him to, you know, try to win some titles. And today could be the first one for him to win the German Super Cup. I don't know if he's going to be registered, but that is going to be a big, big banter just in case he got some silverware today in Germany after so many years at Tottenham Hospice without winning anything. So you see here all the welcome video uh, made by Bayern Munich and also Tottenham Hospice uh, say goodbye officially. So yeah it's gonna take time i do not really expect Ken to to be very comfortable at the beginning let me know in the comment section down below how many goals do you think hurricane is gonna score 
for Thomas Tuko at Bayern Munich. Um, he can still come back because four-year contract. He will be 34. He can come back to Tottenham at that age and still score a lot of goals if he's in shape or in the Premier League uh, with another team. And then he can still beat the Alan Shearer record and he will have uh, probably few trophies already in the bag. And the real success for Harry Kane in Germany need to be Champions League. You don't spend 110 million on Harry Kane so he can just go and win the Bundesliga or the German Cup because they don't need him to win those kind of trophies. They've been winning and winning and winning again uh, for 11 years now. So I don't think he's going there just to to win uh, small cups, but they have to win the Champions League. If they don't, and then it's going to be a big L, to be honest with you. It's going to be a big, big loss for uh, the German giant FC Bayern. And, and uh, for Thomas Tuchel personally. Harry Kane Premier League record. Most away goals. Most goals for a single club. Most goals in a calendar year most headed goals in a season most games sco- scored in during a season most player of the match award but alan shearer record will have to wait yeah you can say most 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 but the next generation are gonna ask you for trophies you know what did you really win we can see all this most 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 but you have now to show us what you can uh, you know what you want where is uh, where is your trophy collective trophy individual awards are good but collective ones are the most important so i think it's a, it's a good decision for him because if he stays in the premier league uh, if he goes to Manchester United, there is no guarantee for him to win anything. But you go to Germany, you are guaranteed at least to, ha- to have a couple of trophies every single season. You know what I mean? So this is a very, very good decision for Harry Kane, in my opinion. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the whole Harry Kane saga. It's finally over and it gives Ange Postecoglou time to start rebuilding with Richarlison and other players.